We're here at uh, or close to Bodas Air Golf Club. We're on Forestry Commission land, uh, and we're here to look at some um, post-medieval bell pits. We've had some amazing images through uh, on the LiDAR as part of the Chase Through Time project. And one of the things that has sort of really caught our attention is sort of evidence of hundreds and hundreds of medieval mining pits. A bell pit is the really early development of coal mining and a little bit of ironstone mining. They will dig a narrow shaft down and then as they expand it out we, we have this, this bell-shaped chamber. It is the evidence for um, post-medieval mining or, or late medieval mining. What's to the rear of me is actually one of the upcast areas for the bell-shaped chamber. It was only when we started to see the results of the LiDAR, the current LiDAR, that actually we, we just saw that the complexity, the numbers, and it may well be that there's more activity there as well, so it's, it's more than just the bell pits going on here. Part of the work of the, of the Chase Through Time project is to better understand our landscape, how we manage our landscape, but also how we work with partners such as the Forestry Commission. This is the Forestry Commission land, um, and at the moment um, they are managing this particular area. What the LiDAR can do is actually help the Forestry Commission and other partners better understand what they've got, how significant it is and therefore how they can manage it for the future generations. Well, the next step is we are currently going through the LiDAR in more detail. Um, we are starting to meet with uh, volunteers and I think the next thing is, is really get people out on site and start to have a look at some of these features. Canet Chase is a unique landscape. It's, it's the largest area of open act land in the West Midlands. It's got fantastic archaeological remains, brilliant biodiversity. So it's a complex and very sensitive landscape and one that we must preserve. 